Oh, there was there was the older dysfunctional solar array. It it didn't produce anywhere near the power it needed to be done, and that's all pretty old stuff. It was from when the place was first built, and it, and it was built as a survival retreat. They just didn't. Uh, there's a lot that wasn't engineered very well, and among the things that weren't engineered very well was the electrical system. Basically, they I hired a conventional on grid style electrician to put everything in. He, he did some things by the book, but without regard for the nuances of how long the cable runs ended up being versus uh, what you what you want to do to optimize solar production. They were also we're taking advantage of lower cost, newer panels, so this is part of uh, what will be the total array. The rest of it is temporarily set up over over here. That's just a temporary setup. But, and then I've got individual panels feeding a few things you know, right now temporarily. I mean, we own them, so it's free power. And then we've got the sunny season happening. So, uh, there's a lot I can't show here. But we've got a sunny season starting to come in. And so we're going to be putting in a, um, a, a, a basically an industrial building. And then a lot of that's going to feed. But these are the uh the dm solar panels and and of course when you start putting together larger arrays you know just in case there is a regulatory issue we're, we're doing temporary construction on that but the the whole replacement thing is going to basically have a a much larger copy of what was uh what's on my mobile workshop trailer this rig right here was actually built in a blizzard so it was uh uh, kind of scabbed together when the other arrays weren't weren't able to produce enough electricity during the, the winter season. But now that we're getting some sunlight, it, there's a surplus of power. So I, I'm going to run in and turn on lights and run stuff in order to use up that surplus of power. Otherwise, we, we might have a situation with burning batteries. But it's uh, part of that is you, you can operate a larger system without a charge controller just what happens is you you have to constantly stay on top of it and when you start getting significantly over 14 volts like like 14.5 or so then you, you need to go turn stuff on and burn off that surplus power 